Hello, this is Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. I just got back from the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo in Denver in 2019. And I wanted to share, I do the all weekend, whatever, mega, whatever, mega, mega. So it includes the mega make and take on Thursday and then an all day crop room on Friday and Saturday. So if you're not familiar with the mega make and take or even what a make and take is, it's a small project. Sometimes a, in, a, in a vendor event, you can go to a booth and they have a little project pretty much all cut out and you make it and then take it with you. So this is a mega make and take in which they give you this. Uh, spiral bound color book and it, it tells you when it starts for each class class begins at 5 p.m. and then you would take out the materials for that class they tell you the name of the uh, project the company who's sponsoring it the supplies you are going to need and then products used in making this in case you decide you would like to buy those products at their um, in their shop so, um, and then someone comes in the room with a microphone and starts explaining how to put it together, but you also have the instructions here. Sometimes, uh, not always, sometimes the company would also have not just their ads over here, but they would have maybe a coupon or some kind of special available early in the morning or available only for those who took this uh, mega make and take, who participated in that. And uh, also, sometimes the company would run, would bring supplies into the mega make and take room. Amazing lightning deals that you can get um, only then. And if you waited till the next day, they would be expensive to make. I mean, to buy. So this is the card. This was really quick, so you didn't really need the whole half hour for this one. But very adorable. Well, does it open? Yes. So it. They, a lot of times they will also give you the envelopes. This one has a little tag. Happiness is a good cup of coffee shared with a friend. And that goes right down inside. This is popped up. It's very pretty. So basically they had um, their projects for all different skill sets. So, you know. Okay, next one was the Birthday Candles Wood Tag by Crazy Creations. They also have sometimes other examples of things that you can make. And, you know, uh, they have ideas also on their websites. This class began at 530. And this is really fun to work with. Um, they have these black stickers like this. And their foil paper, which I'll show you the scraps here. Their foil paper, which does not, the, fo the glitter never, not foil paper, excuse me, glitter paper. And the glitter never comes in off and shreds all over the craft room. It's a beautiful glitter paper and then you put the stickers right over that so as you can see we had this wooden tag that they provided we backed it up with the cardstock here you could put the stickers directly on cardstock or you could put the stickers onto the glitter paper I'm moving this around so you can see it shimmer and you can either use just the image here or once it pops out I could also take these circles and put them back on inside which is what I do with these stars and then also, I used the gold glitter paper here, but then you can take an orange marker and color in right on the glitter paper. So it really creates amazing effects. Very pretty and different. I love the shape of this tag. I think it's adorable. It's just really short and stubby. Next is this, which is Hello Fall by Paper Wizard. Paper Wizard is all about layering, which you can see here. They have die cuts. They're all layered out like what you could do on your silhouette or on your um, Cricut. Um, and then they have their show special here. So this is this here. And so pretty much needed a fine tip uh, glue bottle, which I had. So many, many layers here. So... We have the gold, the dark green, the ivory, and the brown. So there's four layers here. There's two layers of leaves, and the acorn has two layers there. And the acorn has some etching in it. So that's really beautiful for your scrapbook. If you don't scrapbook, it's beautiful for the front of a journal or an album. And the great thing about these is when you do paper layering, they get nice and firm from all the layers of cardstock. So it's pretty nice. Okay, and the next one was this. We always look forward to this. Craft Fantastic always has an amazing, beautiful jewelry type pro project. And 
they did this last year and they did it this year. And that is if you go to the first show day, which would be Friday morning and make a purchase at their booth, you would get a free kit to create this limited edition X Stamp and Scrap Bow Expo pendant. And I did do that. It's in a different bag for a different video. I made one last year. And I got it this year as well. So the project this year is two of them, actually. They've been starting getting into card making kits. And they also had, gave us a necklace kit. So they gave us both. And they shared the glue bottle at our table, but you could also buy their glue. I have the glue because I have purchased many of their kits before. And they give you full instructions. If you've never done this before, you choose your pictures, which is nice because that way you're not stuck with something that you really didn't like. So this one is, you could do either one. There was a the silver and the kind of the antique bronze look here. And you can choose whichever one you wanted for the card and whichever one you wanted for your necklace. Although the necklace, this is the, the chain they gave us for the necklace was silver. So I wanted to use the silver pendant for the actual necklace. Now I'm going to see if I can zoom in here so you can see how pretty these are. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay. They had a lot of new things in their booth this year. Very, oops, sorry. Very pretty. Um... This, there were many ways of attaching this to the card. I chose to run my jute. As you can see this picture, it's really pretty. I chose to run my jute um, through this and tie it to the back of the card. I didn't want to attach this in any way that would mean that they couldn't pull this off and use it themselves. So this is a charm. They can still take this and use it. And they can put their own chain on it. They can do whatever they want with that. This is more supplies for making more of the of the items there. Moving on, the next one was this, which I thought was super creative because you do a lot of card making and scrapbooking type things here. And it was so cool to do this, which is Let It Go Clipboard by Scrap That. And they have their early bird um, specials right here. Let me show you the project. So, oops, I skipped a page, I think. Yes, okay, you see this Rick Rack there, right there? I did not put that on my card. It was a very, it was an, uh, an olive green color. I didn't use it on my card. So it was sitting on my table, and when I made this, I realized that that green matched the green in this project. So you can see I added it right here on on my clipboard. So here's the clipboard. It has this beautiful little tassel that tag and this tag it says don't ruin a good today by thinking of a bad yesterday. Let it go. And it is a usable or functional um, clipboard. I think I put my flower petal in the wrong place but if I curl that up a little bit I'll be able to use this a little better. Very very cute. I loved it. Um, I thought it was a great project and, and having this Rick Rack was so perfect to top this project off. And again, that was the company was Scrap That. Okay, now this one was Creative Creations and it was Sunflower Friendship Card. So this is a Diamond Dots project. Last year we had a Diamond Dots project also. This one is, was faster and this one was the Sunflower Sticker and, the, and they gave you this embossed card that you could ink up and although it shows yellow here, they gave us green. You could ink it up and stamp. Now I wasn't going to stamp on an embossed card because you wouldn't you wouldn't get the, the proper letters in between all these spaces. So I'm going to get a stamp, stamp it on a separate piece of paper, and then I'm going to glue that on there. But the actual sticker for the diamond dots, and they give you every, everything you need to make these. So that's Okay, this is the actual diamond dots. Now, it is a sticker, like I said. You see all this white around there? When you peel this off, all of this is a clear sticker around there. So it will be clear and shiny as far as you see this white out there, it looks like. Uh, we noticed that when we put it on our cards. But um, it looks to me like you might be able to, I don't know if you can or not, because those who did peel the sticker off noticed that, that they couldn't, uh, it was so much sticker around the edge of the car, but it looks like it might be perforated that you could pull off that little border 
No, it's not. Okay, so if you don't want to do all this work and stick it to a card and have someone throw the card away, you can put pop dots on here and attach it that way so that they can still pull this off the card, peel the sticker, and use it. Or you can just, and you can even trim it down a little bit more before using it. So I wasn't sure how I wanted to, you know, use this product. They did give us a card on that. I love diamond dots. I've done several. And if you didn't know, they have come out with new Disney line recently. And the next one is this one, which is a wedding dress gift box by it's, it's cheaper than therapy.com. Now, this is something I guess you would make for wedding favors or, you know, for the wedding table. It came with this double-sided foil, so you could choose whether you wanted the silver or the gold to stick through. And this is foil by Rinia, and it's really great stuff. It does emboss well. So the project was, you know, if you're not, if you do not enjoy, I'm sorry for the crinkly here, but it was really hard to get this home. If you, It should be rounded like this side. If you do not enjoy fiddly projects um you won't enjoy this one because it is hard to assemble this box out of the die now for all these projects the dies are already cut out for you but it is just was hard to assemble this um with clunky fingers and so it's a little box and you can open it up and put little favors in there now because of the shape is wider at the bottom skinnier at the top it's not the kind of thing you would want to put your fingers in and pull out candy so whatever it is you may have to just pour it out onto your hand if you didn't like the idea of it being a box and you just wanted to use this for um, a, a decoration maybe you could glue these flaps together you could even glue the dress tops together like this it would still be very pretty or you could use it as you know a place card holder to show uh, who's seated, seated at a table by pinching it between the shoulders and putting a card there with the name so anyway, that's that and this one, this what this one, um, you can't tell by the photo, but this was an amazing project. Every year that I've gone to the expo and I've seen their stamps and their cards, their cards are mind blowing. Stamp circles card by Stamplistic. Stamplistic has stamps that you can stamp at once on many different colors of cardstock, and then you on the first one you cut out the entire thing. On the next one, you cut it in one layer in. On the next layer, you cut it two layers in, and then three layers in, and finally just the inner circle. So each one of these is, is still stamped from one stamp image, but then you just cut them out on different colors of cardstock, and you attach them. You can put them all flat. You can use pop dots under the whole thing, or you can alternate layers in how you want to do it. So I want to show you this. Uh, I'm hoping that you can see some of the bling. Yes, this is does open. So I'm moving this around so you can see the bling because we did not color on this. All we did was stamp it. I mean, she stamped it. Excuse me. They stamped it. We cut them out. And we decided which way we wanted the layers to go on our cards. And then they give you a few Swarovski crystals, which I have on this inner circle here. Those are real crystals. And then the rest are stickers, which are amazing stickers like this that look like crystals. And the whole thing is very blingy. We found it very relaxing and just gorgeous. It was very intriguing. So then later on, I had another friend show up the next day for a class. I showed her this card. She immediately went to the Stamplistic booth, did their make and take, and bought this stamp because she saw this card. So it's really good advertising for these companies to come and do the make and take demos with us. And I'm so thankful they sponsored the, the make and take at one of the classes and or make and takes. And I was able to go and buy that stamp as well and several others. So, yeah. And they came at the booth, I mean, during the make and take, and they were, had these on a really good deal for the stickers. Okay. And next up is this one, which is Winter Village Easel Card by Elizabeth Craft Designs. And this advertises her planners, which I did take her planner class, and you will see that in my video about the classes that I took. In the meantime, let's look at this card. She also uses those little uh, tiny stickers, which are so cute. So, and there they are, and there's these snowflakes she also uses as well. Now, this is an easel card. So, they gave it to us in pieces. The easel, this part was already made. We just had, this was already uh, stamped and cut out. We just popped it up on foam to hold this in place. These layers, um, as you can see here, could have been put on by pop dots, but I really wanted a flatter card this time. But it is still very, very elegant, just gorgeous. 
And so that class was at 9.30. You can see these just these classes just clip right along. So after they're all done with those, you can stay and continue working on your projects until you get, get them all done. Because especially like diamond dots, you don't usually get that all done. Now, whew. Okay, this is Keep It Simple is the name of the company. And this is the project was Crafty Girls Two Ways. And the two ways, last year they gave us stuff to make a... Um, a scrapbook layout like this I'm sorry like this and but if you didn't scrapbook you could take the materials and make it into cards and they had they had uh, photos to show you how to do that and this year they gave you enough materials to do both to do the layout and to do the cards well I'm not a 12 by 12 scrapbooker so I did make the cards and I have plenty of supplies left this crafty girls kit and these are really cute kits and it's all about scrapbooking the paper line is and so it has pictures of blue bottles and it has pictures of cameras and um whoop. things like that you know scissors and so these are the two cards i made one of them is the a2 size says inspire create repeat and it's just layers of their papers and ephemera on there very cute and i had bought uh, some of the and i think it came with enamel it did it came with enamel enamel um dots and hearts okay and then this is the other card bless this crafty mess mega make and take just add glitter stamp and scrapbook expo and i put the uh i made i made my card different from what it says here and i wanted to use this stamp and scrapbook expo so i love it and um, the thing you can do, too, with these lines, they also have these kits in scrap, like they're a typical scrapbooking kit. And you could make your scrapbook all about your attending of the expo and the photos you took at expo. And you can use this paper line to document it. Very, very cute. So I think it was really well worth it. I don't know if it's just an individual cost for just doing the mega make and take. I don't remember what that is because I did it all together as one huge thing, you know, one uh, purchase to, um, where the Thursday night was included in all of Friday and Saturday. So that was all weekend proper pass. It was huge. So that is the whole thing. And also, if you have never been, um, every time you do something like, you see, I cropped. If you paid for a day in the crop room, you get a, a button. They're square. I support this is a purchase your expo admission at a local store well I have to get the whole package deal so I can't get that I helped as if you volunteer I created as if you go to the creativity center they have free projects free make and takes I got that one I returned as if you've come a, this is your second year uh, I swapped so you can trade cards with friends at a card swap it's an organized event you have to make so many cards and swap I learned as if you take classes and I shopped as if you spend over $150 combined in all over at the expo you save your receipts you bring them to them you get this pin and then if you collect four pins you get the medallion lanyard which i will show you pictures at the end of this video about that oh and they also had these buttons here for sale i like this one that says just a girl with some scissors and i was going to buy it and i forgot but these ones also uh, count as earning your four towards getting the medallion thank you for watching i hope you get an opportunity to attend one of these in the future so here is the medallion lanyard. It's a nice, heavy metal lanyard, and it's beautiful. I'm going to come down here so you can see that. And that is what you earn if you collect four of these pins. I do have an extra one that I didn't show, that wasn't shown in the magazine, and that is in the month of February, which I guess is like National Scrapbook Month. If you make a purchase at a local scrapbook store, then you earn one of these pins, but you have to hang on to it and remember to, to bring it to when you go to Expo. This is just a pin I made for everybody at my table. So these ones are all from the Scrapbook Expo, and this was a vendor, and this was the MC for the night, he had his own pins. So that's what that looks like. Hold on. Okay. And this this is what we were given when we came in for the uh, all weekend proper thing and so this is your photo out your id holder it holds all your tickets for every class you took it's got your ticket here because they give you one of these and in the crop room they're they're doing giveaways every hour and that's your number for if you won 
In the back, there's a clear pocket here, and that's where I would put all my receipts. And then there's a zipper pocket right at the top, and that's where I was putting my tickets for classes until it was actually time for class, because if you lose a class ticket, they cannot reprint, reprint them, so you have to hold on to them. So as you're collecting your, your buttons or your pins, you're putting them on this lanyard, but then if you do win this, I transfer my pins over because as you can see, the ribbon is so much wider than this one and it's hard to get a pin, you know, connected on a really narrow pin, I mean a ribbon than it is on this here. And it's really pretty, isn't that pretty? So I have mine hanging up on a hook in the basement and it is the, Stamp and Scrapbook Expo uh, framed Diamond Dots uh, project that they gave us the Diamond Dots project last year and I had it framed and put hooks underneath it and I will give you a picture or a, I'll give you the video uh, down below so you can see what I'm talking about. Thank you so much for watching.